and you can put your feet right up. Trash subsicles are provided in every car, so please do not throw any trash from the train. We wish to keep the beautiful Lancaster farmlands to stay the way they are. And finally, there is no smoking of any kind on board the train. This does include vaping, as Engine 89 will be doing all the smoking for us. If you would like to disembark our train at Grass Grove Picnic Area or Lane and Place Picnic Area, please inform the conductor or the brakeman as they come by to check your tickets. Speaking of tickets, please have those out and ready for us, whether they be physical tickets, QR codes, emails, and receipts. Without further ado, our next stop is Paradise. All aboard! Eighteen or one minute. Did you hear those train whistles out there? That's the sound of history and the call to heritage. That means our journey to paradise is about to begin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sights, sounds, and sometimes the smells of steam road here in Lancaster County. Our little railroad has been servicing the community of Stratford. 
This is not an enterprise that sprung up yesterday, folks. Many generations of passengers have boarded these coaches before you did today. Stepping into view on the left-hand side of our train are some old rusty engines. These engines currently reside on what is commonly known as a graveyard track. Folks, they're not abandoned. They're just awaiting their turn at the steam restoration inside our shops, which is known for this nationwide. Coming up in the view on the left-hand side of our train, you'll see some rows of neat little cabooses. These belong to the Red Caboose Lodge, a privately operated motel where you can spend a night in a real-life caboose that used to serve as one of the many railroads in the United States. Just behind that, you can see the museum of the National Boy Train Collective Museum. This museum has toy trains, plus shapes, sizes, and colors, and ages. Toy trains ranging from the mid-1800s through today. Some of which are featured on five different operating layouts, but toy trains as small as Z-scale, all up to a seven and a quarter inch live steam locomotive. Fairview Crossing is next. Towards the preservation of that farm. 
in just a moment, you'll see yet another way. Farmers are working to preserve the land. Route 741 off to the right hand side was originally a Conestoga wagon trail built in 1710. It ran from Philadelphia to West Harrisburg to the Indian Outpost. The old stone house coming up on the right hand side was the original home of Cornelius Curry. If it was a wagon maker, settlers heading west could buy Conestoga wagons, guns, and provisions mm -hmm. all from the immediate area. Mm -hmm. That old stone house was built in 1774 and still stands to this day. I just hear someone say echo. Why folks, we pay that ghost twenty seven fifty a day just to do that for us. Now that makes her the highest paid employee on our railroad. Now, nobody's ever seen that ghost, but somebody keeps cashing us paychecks. Speaking of ghosts, is anyone for the graveyard? Harbor's crossing is next. Harbor's. Oh, 
Ano sa Just past the crossing on the left hand side up on top of the hill is the graveyard. It is the oldest graveyard in Lancaster County. And in it is buried Marie Ferrie, a French Cubanot who fled her home country of France in the early 1700s to escape religious prosecution. She and her followers eventually made their way to Pennsylvania, where they were finally given a grant by William Penn himself in 1712, right here for two square miles. It was they who named their colony Paradise. Remember, folks, three centuries ago, this was the American frontier. <laughs> Now folks at the head of our train will notice we're going up on a hill. And shortly we'll be crossing the railroad's one and only bridge. This bridge crosses the Hudson Bill's Bridge, and it will be built for the first 2011. When we built this bridge, we decided to do a scientific study, and we found that when you pick up your feet, it takes a lot of weight off these cars. So do us a favor as we go across this bridge and pick up your feet, so that we can ensure we have a bridge to return to. is next, where the main line of Strasbourg meets the main line of Amtrak. Our track will begin to curve sharply to the left as we come alongside tracks that were once the Pennsylvania River's main line from New York to Chicago. Lehman Place Junction has lots of history to be told. It was the original route of the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad, which became a part of the mighty Pennsylvania Railroad in 1857. It was a very important stop for the Pennsylvania, with more than 30 trains scheduled per day in 1890. Today, still more than a dozen trains still pass here daily. Where the large white building stands today 